Now your WLKY weather with meteorologist Matt Milosevic. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're starting to see a little bit of some brighter skies try to show up there on the eastern horizon. But we also have a fair amount of shower and thunderstorm activity in the region. Temperatures range from a cooler 64 in Madison, but you see low 70s. The rule 71 Ali International in Fort Knox is 70 in Bardstown and at Bowman Field. Best chances for rain this morning near the metro, the Ohio River, and points on off to the south and east, generally drier off to the north and west. We're going to watch a shower near Brandenburg. It's weakening a little bit, but there's still some solid rain there along the Meade and Harrison County line in the Ohio River as that pushes on off to the east. I think that'll put some rain into the metro here uh, as we get a little closer to 7 o'clock. And then we look on off towards the east. There's some downpours in and around, uh, let's say, Frankfurt, back along the Spencer Nelson County line, Shelby County, and along the 71 corridor to the north and east. We've also had some downpours. No severe weather out there, but some brief heavy rain. A few lightning strikes are going to be with any of the thunderstorms. Flood advisories and flash flood warnings down along Green, Taylor, and Adair County from some heavier rain overnight that's now lifting off towards the east. Notice a downward trend in the rain off towards the west. We are not going to rain all day long. In fact, I think we'll have some success in mixing in some sunshine by midday with a mix of clouds and sun. We're 81 en route to a high of 87. But as we start to get towards peak heating in the mid and late afternoon, another chance of some showers and storms will be possible through the early evening. And then once we get towards uh, 10 o'clock past sunset and into the late evening hours, we'll start winding down any showers with temperatures near 78 degrees. Degrees. Lows in the 70s the next couple of nights. Highs right around 87 again tomorrow and Wednesday. The showers tomorrow will be more of a pop-up variety and isolated in nature. I think we see a little more dry time Tuesday, but bring back a better scattering of some showers and storms Wednesday and especially Thursday. That looks to be our best rain chance in the seven day. And while we'll keep an isolated shower Friday, a frontal system starts to bring in some drier air, not cooler air, but drier air for the weekend with highs Saturday and Sunday on either side of 90 degrees, which is close to normal for the time of year.